Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today we are going to be continuing our series on different methods of selection in Photoshop by demonstrating the quick mask mode. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have a nice image of a mountain range and we're going to be selecting out the mountains and getting rid of the sky. So to start with quick mask mode um, you can come down here to the bottom of your toolbar and this little rectangle with a circle in it at the very bottom is quick mask mode and if you click that it will turn on the mode and you can see that you're in that mode by coming up here to your title bar it can you can see it says quick mask right there now you can also toggle this mode by hitting Q you can see that we're going in and out of the mode now quick mask mode is one of those things um, in previous tutorials I've said that not all selection methods are great um, for getting a complete effect it's good for uh, starting it and you'll need to refine it a little bit with other selection methods in order to complete it now quick mask mode is one of the ways that you can refine your selection so I'm going to show you um, basically with the magic wand tool here I'm just going to make a quick selection uh, hold shift and you can grab up some more of the sky and we'll just try and get some more and you can see that we have a bit of an issue here if we zoom in you can see that we have um, some area that is grabbed onto the mountains now we might be able to fix that by adjusting the tolerance but we're going to be using the quick mask tool to fix that today so we're going to go into quick mask mode here um, right after I'm going to quickly grab some of this other little stuff that the magic wand tool didn't get. All right, so we're gonna go into quick mask mode and I'm just gonna hit Q. And now you can see that it changes this area to red. So it changed the mountains to red. Now what that means is that that is what is um, not selected. Now you can change what is selected and what's not selected by double clicking on the little uh, quick mask icon down here. And you can see that you can change uh, if it's the selected area or if it's the masked area and you can change the color and opacity. So basically I'm just going to click OK and go back to quick math mode. Now what's going to happen when you go into this mode is it's going to change your colors from their um, whatever you have them set to to the default black and white. And now with the brush tool what you can do is actually paint with the black in order to add what's in the mask. So I'm just going to take and zoom in and you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm just going to get a smaller brush here and I'm using the bracket keys to um, make that bigger and smaller. And you can actually just take and paint more red on there. So I'm actually painting black but it's showing up as red because it's part of the mask. So depending on what you're trying to get you can change your brush uh, hardness or the brush style um, and such. But we'll just go along here and you can see that we can touch this up very nicely. Now um, what you can do with white is if you make a mistake you can take and you can erase the red away so thus um, making sure that that's not in the selection so the selection would come down onto the red in that area so what we're going to do is just keep painting right here and you can see over here we have some mountains in the background so what this allows you to do is um, get details that you wouldn't normally be able to get because you have the refinement of a brush. And if you're using a tablet, you can get even more precise. And you can take and make the brush a little bit smaller to get these little peaks of the mountains. So it's basically only up to how much time you want to spend on how um, detailed your selection is going to be. So you can take. And, and it's also pretty fast um, even when you are just starting out. So you can take here and just keep going. And I'm not going to fix every little thing, but you can see that you can get pretty detailed, as detailed or as uh, not detailed as you want. And when we zoom out, you can see that we have a pretty nice coverage over those mountains. So now what I can do is I can hit Q, and then it instantly makes a selection of the sky. So I can just take and with my marquee tool, right click, go to layer via cut, and I can turn off the sky and you can see that we have just the mountains selected. So let me show you what you can also do. I'm just going to hit uh, Control Alt Z to undo that, and I'm going to deselect. Now you can also do it in the reverse if you want to. You can hit Q and then hit B again to go to your brush tool, and you can actually take and paint over what you want to keep with the red. So I'm just not going to take and make a great selection here, um, but you can get the idea. So I go over it with red with the brush tool, and then what I do is I hit Q again to go out, and you can see. Um, that now we want to take and keep the mountains so we're going to hit select and then inverse and now we have that selection right there where the red was so if you want to get what the red was then you can go to select inverse once you have the marching ants as they call it and if you don't then you can just delete the other one so you can see that I can cut that out as well 
So, I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Um, you can do a great deal of work with the quick mask. So, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. So, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.